Hi there, my name is Lauren. I'm a GUE instructor residing in High Springs, Florida. After GUE released a few fun videos showing me doing barrel rolls on a DPV, I was asked to share a few tips and tricks on how to do this for the curious divers out there. Now it's worth noting, this topic comes with a wide variety of disclaimers. Complete proper DPV training before operating a DPV. Gain ample experience before attempting to do barrel rolls. Make sure you're comfortable diving upside down before doing a barrel roll on a DPV and definitely make sure that you aren't prone to motion sickness or nausea before operating a DPV upside down underwater. You get the idea, but seriously be cautious and conservative if you decide to try this out. All right, going into the tips and tricks of doing a barrel roll on a DPV. Number one, make sure to give yourself plenty of room to practice so you don't crash into anything or anyone. Two, look forward. I can't emphasize this enough. Looking forward will reduce your chances of a collision. Three, when you're ready to go, turn your hand in the direction you want to turn and place your left hand on the shroud to gain better control as you rotate. Four, use the weight of your equipment to help you turn into your barrel roll. And five, if your DPV has a turbo option, engage that to help you do the final rotation. When you get really comfortable doing this, you can also practice driving a scooter upside down or in various positions for extended periods of time, which can also be a lot of fun. As a GUE diver, I know we love our SOPs, but this is just a few pointers to make the skill easier. This is not an SOP for barrel rolls, so if you have any additional tips and tricks you've learned to make doing barrel rolls on a DPD more efficient, we'd love to hear it, so feel free to leave those in the comment section below. Also, feel free to like and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications on upcoming video releases, and for more in-depth videos, check out GUE TV.